What is going on guys? Grave here today and I talk about the anniversary jubilee event which Zoss did give us information about today. I will link all this down in the description if you would like to read over any of this for yourself. It says the anniversary jubilee in-game event starts on April the 7th at 10 a.m. Eastern. So that will be this Thursday and will run until April the 19th at 10 a.m. Eastern. If you are new to the game, this is kind of uh, ESO's birthday celebration. ESO is actually turning eight years old today. It's been out on, for eight years on PC. It'll actually be out for seven years here on console, but this is an event a lot of people really look forward to. All you need to do to start the event is go to the Crown Store and get the Jubilee Cake Voucher Quest. After you complete the Chef's Quest, and you, you'll receive the Jubilee Cake. Once you summon it from your tool section in your collection menu, each time you eat a piece of the cake, during the event, you will receive a two-hour 100% XP boost. When you complete any of ESO's many daily quests during the event period, you will receive special anniversary Jubilee gift boxes. Of course, these daily quests include things like daily crafting writs, daily delve and world boss quest, daily alliance war and battlegrounds quest, daily dungeon and trial quest, and daily heist and sacrament quest. We have tons of different dailies within the game and all the different zones. So it's easy to go in and do some of these dailies and get a lot of different rewards. People really like this event because there's so many dailies you can do. You have a chance of getting a lot of really good stuff from the boxes. With these boxes, you have a chance to acquire the following prizes, basic or rare crafting materials, motif chapters, furniture chapters, style items, and outfit style pages. A lot of people love this event because you can kind of rack up on motif uh, chapter pages and furniture recipes that you may not already have. Transmute crystals, desecrated grave soil, the new uh, fragment for the fire pot spider, or the new outfit style page for the saber kill armor style. It says if you've already collected a saber kill armor style page on the same day, it will instead give you the fire pot spider fragment. Also during the event, of course, we will have the event vendor where you can get event tickets. In addition to the Jubilee Cakes XP buff, the first time you enjoy a slice each day, you will receive three event tickets. So all you have to do to get your event tickets during the anniversary event is eat a piece of the Jubilee Cake. In total, you can gain 39 tickets by the end of the event. Just remember, you only can hold up to 12 tickets at one time. And of course, the Jester's Festival is still going on. There's like three days left of that. So make sure that you're spending your tickets by the last day of the Jester's Festival or when the anniversary event starts. Make sure you go over to the event vendor before you eat that cake to spend those tickets if you already have that max amount of 12. After you've accumulated a healthy number of tickets, you can find your way to the event merchant and exchange them for some really cool treasures. Of course, the three Soulfire Dragon Illusion Pet Fragments will be available. And of course, for the first time, the new Griffin Mount Fragments will be available. There will be two of those available during this event. Also, bound style pages from the Saber Kill Armor Style Anniversary Cake Furnishings, uh, the Fire Pot Spider Instructions, Bag of Jubilee Yesteryear, which will contain items from past Jubilee events. So things like Worm Cult Motif Pages, also some of the co uh, Companion Style Pages from the Prophet Lyris Titanborn, Sasa Han and Abner Tharn will be available in that Bag of Jubilee Yesteryear. A lot of people may be disappointed to hear you can't get the Worm Cult motif pages to actually drop from the birthday boxes this year. That has always been a very popular style within the birthday event, but it seems like this year if you'd like to get those Worm Cult motif pages, you will have to buy that bag of Jubilee yesteryear, and those actually will be bound, so you can't buy them and try to sell them. After the event uh, ends, it says the Fire Pot Spider instructions will be available on over at the event assistant for the same ticket cost. That way, if you later collect enough of the fragments for the rest of the spider, you'll be able to put it together with any excess tickets or further ticket earnings. So like I said, guys, it's a great event. A lot of people really enjoy this event. Plus, if you're a fan of collecting the tickets and trans, you know, transforming your pet uh, with some of the things we can do with the tickets, it's gonna be a great time to hop in and play because we can get those two uh, Griffin Mount ticket or two Griffin Mount parts with your tickets this time. So if you're trying to catch up from some past events or you're waiting, kind of holding on to those tickets to get that uh, Griffin Mount part started, this will that will, like I said, will be available during this event as well. And it is a great time, like I said, to go in and collect motifs, furniture recipes, all kind of really cool stuff you can get with this event. It's a really fun event. I've always enjoyed it because all of these zones are really populated with people because everyone is going everywhere doing dailies. And it's just a really cool event in my opinion. Probably one of my favorites overall in the Elder Scrolls Online. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. 
and I'll catch you next time. Peace.